and welcome to episode 87 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. Chelsea are going in hard with the transfer window, signing up Milinkovic Savic earlier in the window. We played against him last game, and then Paolo Dybala has just made the move. Juventus, a selling club this window apparently with De Ligt and Dybala off their books. We now continue a truly disgusting start to the Premier League season. AFC Wimbledon against the never easy to play against Watford. I've ruined it. I've put the wrong weather conditions on. No. EA, I beg you. I've made this game more annoying than what it should be. Decore might be onside. Oh. Tries the chip. Enzo Bardi matches him. Pushes it out for a corner. Speed! Calamo Flannery! To the back post, Django Swinkles! It nearly fell in. Django Swinkles almost had another one. Yeah, that's Bright Chato. Get it out of there. Ruben Cook and now Eric Melville. Can he make work on that wing? Mm, yes, he can. He's kept it in. Go on, Eric Melville. He's still keeping it in. Well played. This is great work by the left winger. Delivery's poor. Another opportunity for Eric Melville to drive that thing in. That Jacob Vieira Nan in a prominent position. Oh, Kelamo Flannery! How about that? Watford have just got some of the new technical ability found by Kelamo Flannery at this stage of his career. A little step over close control. He's taking it around four players, and Obi Jackers gets an easy one. That's Beckages. Oh, he's missed the head off. Oh, -ho. Eric Melville. We're getting a through ball. Oh, I think he's still on side. Obi Jackers. Kept on the line, it's 2-0. That's smart attacking play. Just making sure he's onside. Obi Jackers gets a brace. He knows he's onside. Just needed the pass. There you go. Oh. Oh, good save. Enzo Bordi. I've just realized how difficult it is to defend in that light. Oh, no, 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 no. Shocking. Well done, Dalobo Bekic in. It's going to be a corner kick for Watford. Come on, sort yourself out. Callum Flannery. Well played. Oh! Well then, that is a stunner. Oh my goodness. The sun's come out as well. It's like traveling through hell at the moment. Eric Melville's coming short. No problem. Spend some time here. Django Swinkles to the back post. Oh, is that going to spin for another corner kick? What is the keeper doing? We have numbers back, thank goodness. Oh, Schneg, what a tackle that is. He was about to pull the trigger. A conquo. Hello then, Kellum. Oh, Flannery, the wing back is dead. It's Kellum. Oh, run, Kellum. Yeah. What a player. Wimbledon three, Watford one. In very difficult conditions, make sure to hit overcast from now on because that is disgusting. Hans Maripan needs time to adjust. Oh, he'll get his chance right now. We've got a cup game. Carabao Cup away against South End United. Out of all the players, all the new faces that we're going to see for AFC Wimbledon today, I am most excited for Lampros Dam in the net. The Hans Maripan build reminds me a little bit of Tobias Lee. If he can be half the player, bargain. Uh, um, come on, bring it back. That's a foul. I thought that I'd sort out the boots and that, but apparently not. Hey! G Feng Fan! Get in! These guys have got an 81 centre back and an 85 goalkeeper hoarding off the randomised potentials. I'm comfortable with this squad. I think they could survive a Champions League group stage game. Take your time with it, Purrington. Ah, oh, that for a first touch. No. I'm not playing against Liverpool away next. That's ridiculous. What kind of start to the league campaign? He might be onside. He definitely is onside. He's Lampros down with a save. Maybe a long shot there for sure. Oh, Lampros down. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect him to actually be making saves. I thought he was just there for the great name, but there you are. He's a decent keeper, is Lampros. They chip that up. Oh, Dio. That is a great delivery. South End got a shocking equaliser with just under 20 minutes to go. Flashing it across goal. Lampros Dam's got no chance with that one. I've got all the subs that I can make. Or I can just do a one, two. Xi Feng Fan hits the post. Right, what we got? Knitting hello for Xi Feng Fan. He is. Yes, Lalaina Fontaine with a great touch. And it's Lalaina. Oh, that's a finish. Lalaina Fontaine has probably put us into the next round of the Carabao Cup. 
Fantastic. Well played, lads. Mostly comfortable. Of course, South End had that shocking equaliser. But after that, we did step up a gear. Got ourselves the winner. Hans Maripan, quality. Big thumbs up for that. If you compare him with Erstegaard, he brings something different. Erstegaard was just a super hyped up Django Swinkles. Am I right? We are standing alone at the top of the Premier League table. It's actually a very good job that we rested up the first team. Liverpool against AFC Wimbledon. I can't remember a season starting so difficult for any of my youth squad legends teams. Who's there? Who's there for us? Bright Chato, normally you're there, lad. Yes, Bright. Go on. Bright Chato into the box, drags it back. Oh, Eric Melville is stopped by the face of Allison. He stopped that with his face. I feel like the bubble's gonna burst any moment now because I'm a breaking point. I just want an easy game. Keep an eye on his run. I knew he wasn't gonna go there, and we still haven't dealt with it. It's K top. And 1 0 Liverpool. This is going to end pretty badly, I think. We've got a corner kick just over 30 minutes gone. Django Swinkles into the box. It's Callum O'Flannery. That was close. A spot of positivity. Why is Ruben Cognot grabbing that ball around the corner? Callum O'Flannery. Oh! One change at half time. Spencer Hughes for Jacob Vieira Nan, just to be a bit more defensively sound. And don't get in Calamo Flannery's way. Making interceptions for days, Bright Chato. Dropped it off. Here we go. Obi Jackers and a Conquo. Yes, lads! Come on! Soaked up the pressure. It's bigger Conquo. What a project Bright Chato's been through the series. Today we have got some great rewards. He has been stunning. The seconds to go, full time. It's actually a decent point because Liverpool's midfield is very strong. A conquo! Just imagine going from Shrewsbury to Atletico Madrid. Seems like a decent player. Man, that is a change of scenery. Unless a team wants to pay through the nose for one of my players, it looks like we've got a final 52-man squad. Transfer deadline day is over. We've got Bournemouth at home next, and you might be thinking, well, that's an easy fixture. Hell no! They're joint top with us and Everton. What, is it Manchester City next by any chance? It's Arsenal! It's Arsenal! Arsenal and then Man United, Manchester City and then Wolves and then Everton. Help! Leeds United on the 31st of October seems like the first easy game that we've got. Look at the teams that are actually in this league. Yeah? Huddersfield, Southampton, West Brom. West Ham's not that great. Crystal Palace. All of them we're playing in December. If we can get to October the 31st, top of the league, then I am sure of it. We're gonna win this Premier League title. Enzo is up to 92 overall. You love to see it. We're gonna be battle-hardened by the end of this run. Lewis, ball in, saved Enzo Bardi. That is excellent. Have to defend again. There's another stop by Enzo Bardi, pushing it away. Eddie Howe is fuming. Oh, there it is. Three stops by Enzo Bardi in the space. Of six minutes. Schneeg. No, he's going to save it again. Enzo Bardi. <laughs> Did get studs on that ball. Bright chatter at the front post. Django Swinkles. Don't know where that's going. Bournemouth are going to wear themselves out in the opening 30 minutes here. That's how quick they've been playing the game. Schneeg's on it. He gets Megs. That's Django Swinkles. Enzo. Well, he got a touch on that one, but it's finally gone in for Bournemouth. They've played the game at such a remarkable tempo. Obi Jackers. Oh! What a shame, Bournemouth! As expected, they have slowed down through this first half, but still, they've got a degree of danger about them. The Premier League is gonna get a really strongly worded message from me after this. Obi turns his man, Obi Jackers, back in, bang! Yes! Come on, lads, come on! Come on! Oh, Jesus, please! <sighs> Hit and hope by Eric Melville. Yes! Obi! Yes! A first off hatchery will do! Obi Jackers! Thank you. Thank you, Obi, for just being in our lives because it's needed. Play that ball inside. Oh. Offside. Offside. It doesn't matter. It's a corner kick. Enzo Bordi! How did he keep himself onside there? What a save, lad! Keepers coming out. Keepers coming out. It's a disaster. 
and you can't really blame Enzo Bardi because he's kept us in it. Nemanja Maksimovic, I believe with his second goal of this game, his second goal of the Premier League. How he even got three goals out of that game is a miracle. Obi Jackers, hat trick, match ball, but we only get the point instead of three. Where did this Bournemouth side come from? Next episode, we will have Champions League as a welcome distraction. No, 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 I wish to not take part in any more of this season. It's too difficult. Napoli and Dortmund drawn in the same group. Group H, it's the group of hell. Man, as if we're sixth after five games. Ridiculous. Well, we'll make our entrance in the Champions League, the elite competition for European football clubs next episode. Ah, oh, I need to find some strength from somewhere. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. <laughs>